Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm redoing my first video on YouTube. I had lots of comments and all of you liked this hat, but uh, there was a mistake that I apologize for and my explanation wasn't very clear so because of that i think i owe this to you to all of you and i just wanted to redo this and i hope you're going to find all the answers to the questions that you had in my previous video for this hat, this time I'm going to use impeccable medium weight yarn. It has it. Uh, let me see. It's true gray. Five millimeter hook. Four point five oz or 127.5 grams so at the end I'm going to show you how much yarn you need for this hat and I'm using a, a hook 5 millimeter hook and 5.5 I'm not using uh, size 6. So 5 and 5.5. 5, .5. five for the neck part and 5.5 5 for the head, for the hood. Let's get started. I'm going to chain 70. And using five millimeter hook. Don't make the chain tight, a little bit loose. I just chain 70, make sure do not twist the chain and we are going to join with slip stitch in the first chain. Now chain 3. First round is going to be in double crochet. At the end of first round We're going to join now with the first stitch, a uh, last stitch of first double crochet with slip stitch. Now chain two, no three, two, front post double crochet. Next one, back post double crochet. front post double crochet go from the front back front grab the yarn and make double crochet back post go from the back in front back grab the yarn 
make double crochet. Finish the round. The end of second round. Last one is front post, double crochet. Join with slip stitch. Chain two. Second double crochet is going to be front post. The next one back post. Front post. Back post. Many of you guys asked me for a written pattern, but there is no written pattern. Where whenever you don't understand or a little confused or just pause the video and work with the video. The end of round three. Join with slip stitch, chain two, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet. Work even till the work reaches eight inches length or 20 centimeters and I'll meet you there I think I reached 8 inch length or 20 centimeters and wide 24 centimeters nine inch wide now we are going to break the yarn somebody asked me why you don't continue here but you break the yarn and start here because this is the part where we start and end the row you can notice it a little bit but when you turn it like this you can see this part here so it's not good because of that we are going in this part we're going to find the middle somewhere here and we're going to start here Uh, this uh, row is going to be in half double crochet and in this row we are going to add 10 more stitches we're going to add them evenly now I'm going to change the hook using 5.5 millimeter
chain two. This is the stitch. Now we are going to make another one here. And in every sec uh, seventh stitch, we're going to add one more. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, one more, two. Two have double crochets in every seventh stitch. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, two, one, two. Finish the round like so. Two have double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Now you should count the stitches. You should have eighty stitches. So finish this round, now chain 2, turn work, have double crochet but only in the, on the back loop. the end of the row so here is the last stitch here we are going to make two half double crochets in the last half double crochet Now you should count your stitches and there's supposed to be 81 stitch, 81 half double crochet. So from now on we count in this row to 15 rows from here with this one 16. That means in next 15 years. Uh, rows we are going to end one stitch more at the end of the row in the last half double crochet make two half double crochets so it means in every row you're adding one half double crochet chain two turn work
in this one the back loop have double crochet all across till the last half double crochet where you have to make two half double crochets the end of the row so this is the last stitch we're going to make two have double crochet one Two. Now you're supposed to have 82 have double crochets. Chain two, turn work. So this is the first stitch. Now in this one. into back loop So this is the last stitch to have double crochet. One, another one, so this is the third row, one, two, three, we're supposed to have 83 have double crochet so don't count this one the first one that we added 10 stitches start from here from the first row when we started added one stitch at the end of the row so one two three each row one stitch one half double crochet more that means 16 rows you are going to add one half double crochet so chain two and start this is first stitch now in this one just make sure you add in one stitch at the end of the row in the last half double crochet for 16 rows do not count the first one that we added 10 stitches 1 2 3 this is the fourth one the end of the row 4 And you should have 84 half double crochets. 
this is last one. One. In the same stitch, but I'm going here. Two. So you can see how it has started increasing this part. Chain two, turn the work, continue doing this, add in one half double crochet at the end of the row in the last half double crochet for next 12th rows. So I already done four and 12 more rows, add one half double crochet at the end of the row and I'll meet you there. I finished the 15th row, now chain two. This counts as a first stitch, first half double crochet. So don't forget to count this one. So this is the last row of increasing. The end of row 16. And this is the last stitch that we added. Now I'm going to count the rounds, the rows. We do not count, <coughs> excuse me, this one, the first one, where we added 10 stitches. Start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You can see this part and this one. So if you want it wider here in this part, when you add 10 stitches here, you can add more, like 14 or 16, or if you want to make it for men, if you make it for men, add 14 or 16 stitches in the first uh, row, when you start the hood. Now I'm going to make 14 more rows without adding any more stitches. 14 rows. Chain 2. Remember this counts as a first stitch. So this is the first stitch. This one is the second one. the end of the row so remember now we are not adding any more stitches and this is the last stitch So now I'm going to count the stitches. 
supposed to be 86. Okay, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. And you're going to finish the hood with 96 stitches. So chain two. So I finished one row without adding any more stitches. This is the second one. So it means I'm going to make uh, 12 more rows. Altogether 14 without adding stitches. So I'll meet you there. I'm finishing the 13 row. Last stitch. And start the 14th row. Chain two. This is the last row. The end of the last row. Now we are going to turn it inside out. And we are going to join together the top of the hood. Go in the first stitch from this side, in the first stitch in other side, this one. Next stitch. So make sure through both loops here and 
here, both loops. Finish the this part up to the end. The end Add the yarn. Now we are going to measure it, how wide it is. 14 and a half inches. Or 15. And 39 centimeters. Now, if you want it wider, here, in the first round row, when you start with the half double crochet, here you can add more stitches. I added 10, but you can add, if you want, wider. You can add like 14, let's say. And if you want it longer, you can just continue with two more rows, let's say two more rows, or three. It depends how long or how wide you want it. The length, let's see, from the neck. It's around 16 inches. But I'm measuring it in the wrong side. It should be like 15 and a half. 40 centimeters. Fifteen inches. Now let's turn it that's from the other, in the other side. So this hat can wear men's too. You can change the length and the width. You can make it for kids too, if you want to. I didn't mention at the beginning because I wasn't sure how much yarn you need for this, but I think it took around 230 or 40 grams because this is what's left from the second ball. And one ball has 127.5 grams. 
260 meters or 285 yards. So you need two of these. Now you can wear it like this. Turn this inside this part, the neck part. I think it's enough long. So you don't need scarf. Because you have this. You can cover your mouth and nose. Or if you want it, you can hold it down like this. And this is the hat, the turtleneck hat. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.